Hey guys, it's um, Lenny42 here, and I'm going to show you how to add mods into your The Sims 3 game. First thing you're going to do, open up Google and type in Sims 3 Frameworks. And the reason for that is because we are going to download a pre-made Frameworks um, zip folder that's going to give you the mods folder that you need with the packages folder and the overrides folder and the resource folder um, file as well. So it's pretty much either the first or the second one. It's installing Sims 3 files, um, package files, slash setup and files from the mo mod the Sims. And you click on it. Here actually has a lot of information, more so than I'm actually going to cover in this video. So you can go in here and really just learn a lot about um, what, you know, mods, packages, dot package folders are, everything like that. The Sims 3 CC Basics, which is what they tell you to read first, is mostly for um, CC, obviously called the CC Basics. Um, I don't use CC in my game, so this isn't, um, I'm not going to go over this much, but the important parts of it is the fact that you need some form of uh, program that um, allows you to extract files, like .zip files. So the best one to get is um, 7-zip. You can get other stuff too, but they recommend 7-zip, I recommend 7-zip, I use it, so and it's going to be in this um, guide, this video, so you might as well just get it. So the easiest way to get it, you can, I mean, you can click on here and you can click it here and there it is, but if you didn't want to go through all of that, you literally just have to type in 7-zip and it'll pop up and you click on it, it's the same thing. So for a 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on what kind of computer you have, you download that, you got it, and it's great. Oh, sorry, another thing I wanted to go over on that page is if you really want to get into CC or if you just like putting extra things into your um, your your game that's not exactly CC, but it's not exactly like a mod. It's a mod that comes with other stuff as well. Or if you find yourself using uh, Simpack, so this tells you about dot sim pack dot um, dot package dot sims three pack and dot sim. These are all different folders that you have. You can in different types of uh, content that you can install into your the sims three folder. So you need to read this and also read how to remove it if that if you're planning on doing that. So back to what we're trying to do: just download and install mods. Here you go to the um, second step, and what we're going to do is we're going to download the ready-made framework setup zip and we're going to put it into our documents electronic arts the sims 3 folder so simply download it and you're going to don't click save because that'll put it straight into your downloads folder what you want to do is you want to click save as and you want to put it in documents electronic arts the sims 3 i'm going to save it there so save it there and um open the folder and you should have your framework setup file in there with you. Um, click on it, click um, the 7-zip, which I hope you installed, or whatever you already have installed, and then click Extract Files. Or actually, you can click Extract Files, but it's actually better if you click Extract Here. Sorry. Um, so yeah, click extract here and it should pop up, there we go, it should pop up your uh, mods folder which is what pretty much we need. And right at this point, you're done. This is what you need. You need the mods folder, you have it, you have your overrides, you have your packages, and you have your resource. But to make sure you did this correctly, they have added two different package, um, dot package folders in here. The no build sparkles and the no intro um, mods and what this does this no intro mod is that it takes away the beginning introduction video that you watch um, or that you usually skip through it takes it away and just skips it for you this is a bit old because you're you're going to actually see the Maxis logo and the Maxis um, thing because this actually doesn't include the Maxis into it it was made before the Maxis was introduced but apart from that, everything else, like the video, like the parts that take much longer, are gone. So 
Best thing to do at this point, open up your um, game and make sure you don't have an intro. The minute you don't have an intro and it's loaded up, load a saved game or a new game or whatever it is you're planning to do, but go straight into um, build mode and try and build a wall. If you see sparkles as you're building the wall, then this is not working. If you do not see sparkles, then you're good to go, everything is set, and your packages folder, in your mods folder, in your The Sims 3 folder, in your documents folder, in your electronic arts in your documents folder is working perfectly. So if it's not, you have to go all the way back to the beginning of the video and try this all over again. Hopefully it's working because I wanted to do something condensed and simple. Um, so I'm hoping that these steps are easy for you guys to understand. Um, what I'm also going to do right now, I mean, at this point, you're done. You've got your mods folder. You can put whatever you want in it. What I wanted to add to it is just to show you how simple it is to add a mod. So I'm going to go to NROS because I love NROS mods. And we're going to go to the, pretty much his most talked about mod, which is Master Controller. And I urge you to read the interactions and the FAQ before um, when you get one of these mods because it can it can be confusing. The best way to read it is actually if you open up the game and you open up the um, you open up the mod the by clicking on you know a computer um, city hall or a person and um, go through the interactions. That's the best way to understand. If you just read it by itself, you will be a bit more confused than necessary. So yeah, we're going to get the base mod because you, without the base mod, you can't run any of the other additions. So we're going to grab the base mod, come all the way down here, and we're going to download it. Now you can save this anywhere, so this can just be in your downloads folder. And you're going to open the folder, click on 7-zip again, and this is why I got confused because here you have to hit extract files, not extract here. And we're going to hit the dots for browsing. You're going to go into your documents, into your electronic arts, into your Sims 3, and into your mods. And from there, into your packages. Now this looks long, but you only have to do it the one time. You do that, and it should, if everything is done properly, show up in your packages folder. There we go, you've got the master controller mod now. Um, I'm gonna show you the second one, the cheats mod, because if you're gonna get the master controller base mod, then you should get the cheats mod. It's it's like a necessity. And we're gonna do the same thing, but this time, um, we're not going to go through that whole um, long spiel of putting it here. We're going to click Extract Files, and you're just going to click this arrow, and where you were before, your Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 3 Mods Packages is just right here. You click OK, you go back to that folder, and that should be there as well. So that's it. You now have all the mods you need. Well, you now know the way to get all the mods you need, I guess. And um, it's pretty much that simple. Another thing I want to touch on, I can't completely because um, this is a brand new electronic arts folder, so it doesn't have um, your cache files, but sometimes you're the um, creator of the model asks you to delete your um, sims cache or your social cache.package file, and there are literally just five of the cache.package files. I urge you to once in a while just go into this folder and delete them because then it makes the game um, refresh brand new ones. And it really just helps with your mods and it helps with your gameplay. And um, so, yeah, make sure you read the instructions and, like, the directions on how to install. Because sometimes, like I said, sometimes um, it might need to um, go a special way or, you know, you might need to delete something after. Another thing is your overrides folder. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you might put mods in here to override some mods that are in your packages. But most of the time, your overrides mod, um, package, your overrides folder, sorry, will stay empty. And your packages folder is where all your mods will go. Also, I believe um, what you can do is you can um, create a, um, a new folder and you know, we're going to call it um, NROS, and 
it's so much easier if you take all your NROS mods and you put it into your NROS folder because that's going to make this look less like scattered. If you have eight mods, it's not a big deal, but as soon as you have like 18, um, 20, 30, 40 mods, it just looks, it just gets insane. So it's a good idea to practice making a folder and putting your common mods into those folders, like your building mods and your, um, your core mods, your script mods, just, you know, have the script mod folder, the core mod folder, and it'll be easier for you to find them in that way. Or you can, you know, set it up however you want to set it up. Just make sure you just don't have them hanging around all willy-nilly because when it's time to update them by taking them out and putting in the new updates, it can get confusing. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's how you get mods. It's how you install the... Uh, frameworks you get the packages the overrides and the uh, resources and that's pretty much from that point on all your mods go into your packages mostly some go into your override depending on the instructions and you can play your game and have all the awesome mods that everyone's talking about but you never actually got to experience till now so this is lenny 42 teaching you how to get mods happy simming everyone